right, so today we're gonna to be going over a bottoms up shoulder press with a kettlebell. And the reason why it's called bottoms up is we have the kettlebell upside down. So, because the kettlebell is upside down and all the weight is on top, we're gonna to have to make sure we have a nice and firm grip to reduce as much wobbling as possible. So we're gonna hold this right here. Elbow's gonna be nice in front of your shoulder and we're gonna press up into the seal. Now we're not going to keep this kettlebell right next to your face, we're going to hold it out straight with the arm, forearm right here, firm grip, drive up towards the ceiling. As we do this, we're going to be nice and engaged in our core. We don't want too much movement with our upper body as well. And then our lower body is going to stay nice and still. Now if you're going for multiple rounds of these and you're starting to feel a little tired in the shoulders towards the end we can switch into a push press, which is gonna look slightly as a squat where we're dipping down with the hips and using a little push from the quads, drive from the hips to transfer some momentum to drive this up into the air. However, we wanna avoid doing that for the first few reps and let our shoulders and arms take the load of the force there. So that is our kettlebell. Bottoms up, press.